Yo, what up, boys? In today's video, I'm gonna try my best to teach you how to actually edge bug and also jump bug in Counter Strike 2. Originally, I wanted to also include how to pixel surf in this tutorial, but unfortunately, with the last update, a call to arms, they've gotten rid of pixel surfing. I also highly recommend you go open up the description and check out the updated config guide because with the new update there's also been some changes to the config and some binds that you need in order to uh, have the most consistent movement config. With that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to explain what an edge bug actually is and how they work. I'm not very, very deep into the game physics, so I don't have the understanding 100%, I just know how to pull them off. But if I understood correctly, when you hit the very, the very edge of a ledge, for example, um, on this curb right here, between either two frames or two ticks, the game won't notice you like on the ledge and then off the ledge, but it, it will notice you like somewhat in between, which will cause you to kind of slide, slide off the edge. I'm gonna try to try to show you guys what I mean by this. All right, so I actually hit an edge bug right there, and you can pretty much perform these on every every ledge in the game basically except these rounded ones like this and this one for example because i can show you if you wanted to uh, try to edge bug on these you can't actually edge bug you're just going to simply surf off of them so you can simply just surf on them like i said you can pretty much edge bug anything in the game as long as it's like an actual curb or a ledge obviously there are hard edge bugs in the game and easy edge bugs for example i would consider this one right here an easy edge bug where you jump off of silo and you hit this ledge right here and then you edge bug off of this edge right here this is also pretty useful in, com in a competitive setting because you don't actually take fall damage and you also don't make a noise when you land and all that you need to do for this edge bug is basically just run off of silo jump onto this and try to hit this like like right here and then just don't press anything and you would simply get pushed off to the side and you will edge bug off of this ledge right here yeah so that's what it looks like when you do it successfully now edge bugs like this for example are very easy to do and you can get them down pretty consistently but for example there are other edge bugs like for example this one on a side which i particularly really suck at i know that some people kind of do this lineup like this and kind of look here and then strafe into this because you can actually edge bug on this thing and also on this and on this. I mean, you can pretty much edge bug on anything, but. Another thing that makes edge bugging more consistent for me, I don't know if that's an actual thing that helps with it or it's just a me thing, but for me, it helps if I um, if I align myself with the curb that, I, that I'm trying to edge bug off of. Let's say I wanna, I wanna edge bug off of here and then B hop into into A main. Then I'm not going to to go like this, jump, and then try to edge bug like that and B hop off of that. I'm going to try to like go for the edge bug and then line myself like this. So I'm like straight with the with the curb. So I can go that way and then I'm just basically gonna strafe and keep B hopping. That makes all the edge bugs in the game a lot more consistent for me and you can try it out for yourself and see if you feel any difference. But um me personally it helps me a lot. <clears throat> okay, I think that's all that I can tell you guys about edge bugging, and I'm going to move on to jump bugging now. Edge bug. As far as the physics go for jump bugging, I actually have no idea how they work and why they work. I just know that they do work and how to do them. And for jump bugging, you can do them two ways. You can either do them vanilla without a bind or you can do them with a bind. Um, I used to be the vanilla type of guy, but with the new update, there's also been a new um, jump bug bind that's uh, linked in the config guide in the description down below. That basically helps you with hitting them more consistent. And I gotta say that this new bind is really consistent in my opinion. So if you wanted to jump from here to here with like a normal crouch jump, you could do that. But if you wanted to bunny hop up there, you wouldn't actually be able to without a jump bug because when you b-hop, you get less jump height. For example, if I wanted to be hop right now, I wouldn't get up there, like not even close. Now what a jump bug basically does is it allows you to get more height on your b hop. The vanilla way is basically just, so you want to go for like a normal b hop, but right before you land, you're gonna quickly tap crouch, so that you uncrouch right before you hit the ground and before you hit your b hop, which will give you more height. It's gonna look something like this, I probably won't get a first try, so I'm just gonna show you one successful try right here. Now the second way that you can do this is with a jump bug bind, which I used to not like before this update, but now I do like it more because I think it's a lot easier now. Um, and what you want to do is, for example, in the config you have the jump bug bind um, on your mouse 4 key, I believe. You can test this out by just um, jumping and crouching in the air and then pressing the button and it should uncrouch for you, so it will look something like this. That's how you know you'll have the jump bug bind. What you want to do is go for a normal b-hop but crouch in the air and crouch all the way. And then 
you have to time a B hop with the jumper key. So you're not going to use your scroll wheel. You're going to time the B hop like you would time a spacebar B hop. So you're basically using the jump bug bind as a spacebar B hop. So you have to time it. It's it's kind of hard to get the timing down at first, but once you get a bit used to it, they're very consistent. I'm gonna show you one right here. Yeah, so there we go. That's that's a successful jump bug right there. One thing that I did forget to mention is that when you go for a jump bug, you usually want to crouch at the end of it again. So you're you're going to crouch and then you know um, hit the jump bug like I just explained, and then crouch at the end again to get a little bit more extra height, if you know what I mean, like a normal crouch jump would. I think that's it for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Make sure to like and sub to help a brother out. I mean, join the DC in the description if you want to find people to play with or people to share your clips with. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.